Hello everyone and welcome to another Bacon Bits video. In this one I wanted to show off our new views feature. Uh, in the process of giving you all of the information that we possibly can in your console about your endpoints, it's gotten a little cluttered and it gets a little clunky. So we've introduced this new feature in order to not only clean up the UI but also keep it customizable. So this is for all of our new tables, but I'm going to mostly dive into the endpoints table just because that has the most amount of entries in the table. So we're going to navigate there, we're going to go to our endpoints table. And right now, as you can see, we have all of our columns that we normally have. I have a couple of these that aren't selected. Um, but these is, this is the amount of columns that we're giving you, and that's certainly too many to fit on one screen. So now we have our new views drop down. So the views drop down shows you all of the views that other people have created and shared with your org. And we'll get into that here in a second. But first I want to show you how to create a view. To do that, you'll want to set your filters as well as which columns you want to show. Right now I have a kind of a, a smaller view just with a couple things. If you wanted to, for instance, make a patch group, you could get rid of all of these things here. CPU model, kernel, kernel version, things that necessarily wouldn't be necessary in a patching group, but then we can add things like pending reboot, like that would be pertinent to our patches, as well as we can get rid of like model and manufacturer for instance, that wouldn't necessarily be necessary, and if we want to go here, we can sort by agent insert by CPU model but we're just going to do status we're gonna add that filter to filter by ones we can actually patch and then we can also sort by OS platform we're going to sort by Windows and then you go to the actions you click save view we're gonna name this Windows patch group and we're going to keep this on shared you could turn this off if you wanted to have just a personalized view for yourself but we encourage you obviously to share it with your organization now we've created the view so now we can go here to this one I made Windows patch group and it'll apply that view that I just made it with one click and like I said we have other ones that other people have made in our organization for instance, this is our OS list platform. It gives you all sorts of information about the OS that you could use. Our Mac OS view, if you just dealt with Macs, you could obviously sort by your Macs. It gives you all of our MDM things. And like I said, this views function is for all of our new tables. For instance, bundles here. We don't have any views for this table, but of course you could save a view here. With our new CVE feature, we have views saved like for instance we have this light mode that our security guy has made for us as well as our patching table so right now I have our WinSec updates view selected just to show security updates for Windows but of course you clear that you get all of your information back you select again it just shows available WinSec updates so we wanted to show this off just because we think it's a great feature it will certainly clean up your UI. We know we're adding a bunch of stuff, all stuff that is important to everyone. However, you only have a certain amount of screen space, so we want to be able to save that. But that is it for today's demonstration. I hope you guys learned something, and I'll see you next time.